everybody, welcome. Thanks for joining us today on Make It With Mod Podge. Steve has a really fun craft project that he's gonna be showing you. We're going to be taking plain old rocks and giving them a makeover using watermelon themed napkins. And look at how adorable these turn out. These are perfect picnic weights. If you have your tablecloth, you can just set these on the corners. They will keep your tablecloth from flying away. You can play tic-tac-toe with them. You can use them for outdoor garden decor. So many different ideas and all using the outdoor formula of Mod Podge and just a napkin. You ready to do it, Steve? Hey everyone, and thanks Kat for that introduction. You covered it all. Guys, when you guys are shopping, check out the napkin section. There are so many cool different kinds of decorative napkins out there. We're using watermelons today, but there are so many cool napkins for this project, and this is really super kid-friendly. So, with a napkin, a rock, and outdoor Mod Podge, let's get started. Okay, guys, here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is get yourself a rock. Two ways you can do it. You can buy a rock or you can go hunting for rocks. Of course, I prefer hunting for a rock because it's fun. Now, when you choose a rock, you want a rock that's smooth on both ends, especially on one side is more important than the other side, but just make sure it's kind of smooth. It depends what kind of project you're doing. I like using the smooth rocks on napkins because it just gives it that smooth edge. Next is you're going to prime it. Now, we're using the home decor chalk. You can see we use this bottle a lot because it is great, great primer. Um, the chalk alone is amazing to use, but we also like to use it as a primer. And just to save time, voila, I've already painted one. The next thing you're gonna do is choose your napkin. We're using these watermelon napkins. There are so many napkins out there, guys, beautiful napkins. Um, just check out wherever you are on the decorative uh, party section, usually a lot of decorative napkins over there. Um, all sorts, this is a great project for kids, so sometimes they're superheroes, all sorts of things. A lot of fun. Um, then, you're gonna get your napkin. So here's the napkin, I got one napkin, and I'm just going to take off, they usually have two or three ply, you're going to want to remove that First, this is a three ply, so I'm taking it all the way down to just the first ply, which is that. Gives it a nice, thin uh, napkin, really easy to work with when you're working with the uh, Mod Podge and surfaces. Okay, so next, I'm using Mod Podge. Oops, upside down. This is the outdoor formula. We're specifically using the outdoor formula because it's durable and these can go outside. Um, and it works exactly the same way as regular Mod Podge. What you wanna do is make sure you're going to find the direction you wanna work in, meaning here's your rock underneath it. You wanna make sure if you want some of that green in there, you're gonna have to just kind of position it and then I like to kind of go around the rock like that. So I think that's pretty good. So I got some of the green on the bottom and I've got the um, watermelon color, the orangey pink on top with some seeds. And I'm just gonna grab a napkin and I'm gonna cut that excess off. I'm cutting it carefully because if I'm making a bunch of them, I can use that for my next rock. You just wanna make sure that it's going to cover all the way around, which of course this one does. So, let's get started. Outdoor Mod Podge. Oop. Open that up. And with a regular brush, you're just going to, on the front, cover the entire front of it and the sides. I'm not gonna be doing the back, and there's a reason for that. I'm gonna show you in just a second. So the sides and the front, and it got a nice coat of that outdoor Mod Podge on there. And again, positioning it, I positioned it about right there. I got some of that bottom part, I got some of that top part, and I'm gonna smooth that out with my fingers and kind of wrap it around working around it, 
and just tapping. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Nice and smooth. I let that dry. I set that aside and I let that dry and I don't try to do the, the other side of it. Let me just show you. See, that's the dry side. The reason for that is it gets really messy and it's hard to work with wet Mod Podge on both sides, especially this project with the napkins because I do not want it to tear. So I set that aside for about 20 minutes and I just let that dry. And with the magic, there is a dry one. So you can see now I can handle this with no problem, no ripping, no tearing, completely dry, not wet. It's just an easy tip to uh, follow by so you can get a really nice end result. Then I take my outdoor Mod Podge and I cover the back side of this. Now you can see there's excess there, which is gonna be cut away, but I'd like to definitely make sure I have enough. So I just fold this over. And again, this is the back side, guys, so it doesn't have to be that pretty because we're also gonna cover that with a piece of felt. Now I know I've got a lot of extra here, so I'm just gonna cut around that like so. And we're just gonna add a little more Mod Posh and keep working. You guys, this is a really fun project for kids. For fairy gardens, people love making these for fairy gardens. They like to leave them on trails if that's allowed. I gotta remember that not all states are trails like you leaving rocks with um, tissue paper on it, so I'm not sure about that. Um, and just go over that. And like I said, the napkins with the kids, the superhero napkins are so much fun to do. And there we go. Now there we go, so this is done. So this is going to be set aside and that's gonna let dry again for about 20 minutes. Nice and smooth, just a nice coat. There we go. Again, let that set aside and dry for about 20 minutes and let me show you some of the rocks that I have already done. Look at that. So all sorts of rocks, all different shapes and sizes using, using a napkin, a rock, and the outdoor Mod Podge. Now you can put a little piece of felt on there if you'd like. Where's my felt? I have a piece, here we go. So that's just a little piece of cut out felt. Uh, we kind of coordinate the colors with it and this is just good for, you know, surfaces that this is gonna be put on top of a desk or if you're going to put it maybe at the end of a table, wherever. So there's no scratching involved and it covers up the, um, you know, this part. The, uh, the stuff that's all folded over, the napkin that's all folded over. So just a quick, easy way to finish off the backs of your watermelon. Also, let me show you, I have a couple other ones here, and these were done with a different napkin. This is also watermelons, paper, napkin, I mean. Um, so these are pretty also. They just give a nice little family look, and again, you guys, there are so many napkins out there. You can do this project with any sort of de decorative napkin. So take a look at the napkins and uh, have fun with this project and, and bring the kids in. It's a fun one. So here's a fun idea for the kids. Is a tic-tac-toe board made out of scrapbook paper and tape. And you can use the two watermelon rocks that we made. You can use one as an O and you can use one as the X. So they kind of coordinate together. A lot of fun, very easy. And let me show you the napkins that we use. These are the two packs that we found side by side. So we decided to get them because uh, it was a no brainer. So there's the two watermelon packs. Again, there are so many great decorative napkins out there that you guys can use for this project and bring the kids on in. Thank you so much for joining us and don't forget to tag Plaid Crafts and, Plaid, and tag Mod Podge. We'd love to see what you guys are making and we'll see you next time on Make It With Mod Podge. See you guys.